Hi everybody, we're here with module eight, lesson two. Um, this is on page 203 in your succeed book. This is the homework helper. I wanted to start here. There are two kinds of questions and these are the same um, types of questions that we had in our lesson in class today. Um, sometimes we need to count the sides and angles on a shape and identify it. So this polygon has five sides and five angles. That makes it a pentagon, even if it doesn't look like that usual house shape that you're so used to seeing. It's still a pentagon if it has five sides and five angles. That's what makes something a pentagon. The other kind of problem we have is where they have given us part of a shape and we have to add more to finish off the shape. So here they were asking us to make a pentagon. They added, well, it looks like they only added, added two lines, but they say they added three lines to each of the shapes to make it five because a pentagon has five total. So the first number you're just saying how many you add and the second number is how many makes it a pentagon and then comparing shapes, talking about their sides and angles. So we're starting on page 205. And this is the part where we are just going to count the sides and angles and label what the shape is. So before we start, we have our four words up here. A hexagon has six sides quadrilateral has four, triangle has three, and a pentagon has five. So we are just counting sides, and then we are going to label. So the first one, counting my sides, one, two, three, four sides, counting my angles, one, two, three, four. If it has four, it is a qua already spelling it wrong. A quadrilateral. Lateral means side. Quad means four. So four sided. What about B? I count three sides and three angles. That makes it a triangle. Now I'm going to keep going. If you would like to pause and do it on your own and then come back and check your work, that's fine too. Or you can just do it right along with me. One, two, three, four sides. One, two, three, four angles. This is also a quadrilateral. One, two, three, four, five sides. One, two, three, four, five angles. It's a pentagon. Now, as you're noticing, all these shapes, they have the same number of sides and angles. If it's got five sides, it's got five angles. Four sides, it's gonna have four. Three sides, it's gonna have three angles. They go together like that. So here on E, let's count one, two, three, four, five. Ha, look at those two shapes. They look very different. Three, four, five, but they are both pentagons. That was Shamari. <clears throat> one, two, three, four, five, six six sides so it's going to have six angles now when they get all twisty like that be very careful to make sure you are counting all of them six sides six angles that's a hexagon one two three four one two three four quadrilateral 
I don't know why I always use a capital on that. One, two, three, four. I'm gonna make it a small Q. And if you look at those quadrilaterals, they're very different too. But they do all have four sides and four angles. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Six sides and six angles makes it a hexagon. One, two, three, four. Quadrilateral. Oopsie. Miss Brody, slow down. One, two, three, four. Making silly mistakes. Here we go. K. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four. And here, five. Five sides and five angles makes that a pentagon. And I don't even need to count those, do I? One, two, three. One, two, three. A triangle is pretty easy to spot. So if you need to pause and catch up, go ahead and do that. But make sure you are counting those sides and angles yourself. You need to prove to yourself that it has the same number of sides and angles every time. Don't just take my word for it. All right, the second kind of problem we have is that we have to create a shape with the two lines that they've given us. So they're giving us two lines and they're the same, but we have to make different shapes from them. So a quadrilateral has four total sides. A pentagon has five total sides. A triangle has three total sides. And a hexagon has six. So if there are two here and it needs four altogether, how many more lines am I going to need to add to give it four? There's two. We're going to need three and four, two more lines. Now this one is also gonna need two more lines. It needs four sides, one and two. So we added two lines because a quadrilateral has four. Here we need to make a pentagon. So five all together and they've got two. How many more do I need to add now? going to need to add three more lines. I'm going to make this one a kind of regular pentagon, adding three lines. But I need to make this one a pentagon also. Let me see. Adding three lines. So one, two. Oh, I can't do that. Maybe if they slant down a little bit. One, two, three. So there's one, two, three, four, five lines. Good. The next one is a triangle. That's pretty easy. There are two lines. I need three. How many am I going to add? Just adding one more line. And there's not many options. We got to close it off or it's not a polygon. Remember, a polygon is a closed shape with straight sides, at least three sides. Now, a hexagon. A hexagon has six total sides, so we have to add four. We need to add four more lines because they've only got two. So, one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four, five, six. Good. And I have to add four more lines to this too. I think you should go ahead and pause the video, make it look however you want with your six 
sides all together, adding four more lines, and then press play to see how yours compares to mine. All right, need to add four more. So one, two, three, four. Oh, it's like a little flower. So one, two, three, four, five, six. That did it. Added four lines. What did yours look like? Just double check. You have to add four lines. It doesn't matter what the shape looks like, but all together it needs six sides. Explain why both polygon A and B are both pentagons. Well, a pentagon needs five sides, so one, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. It needs five angles. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. So they both have five sides. They are just different shapes. So then, why are both C and D triangles? When you were younger, you wouldn't have even believed that they were both triangles. This one is pointing down, this one is really skinny. They couldn't possibly be the same shape. But the way we label shapes is based on their sides and their angles, not on their outline. So the outline of the shape is different. The outline They just look different. But both have three sides and three angles. That makes them a triangle. Doesn't matter what it looks like. Three sides, three angles, it's a triangle. Five sides, five angles, that's a pentagon. Doesn't matter what it looks like. Hexagon, doesn't matter what it looks like. If it has six sides and six angles, it's a hexagon. Thanks for working hard, everybody. See you next time.